Kate, Jade, and your children. This house tour is to show you what your Lao Jia looks like. I know this will be of good value 20 years later because recently, Kate, you asked me what was Lao Jia like for me. That will be in the 1980s when I still live in the Kangpong. But too bad, there's no iPhone back then and we don't do vlogs like this. So unfortunately, I don't have those memories and they are not captured. So unfortunately, I can't tell you about the Da Bian He that you have asked me about. Let's start from the Da Men. We spent $28,000 in renovation and the biggest part of it is this kitchen area where we actually hacked down the wall over there so that we have this wet dry kitchen. And this bar countertop is a frequent place where your mommy and I will have our breakfast or our meals when Kate wasn't born yet. So for context, we moved into this BTO in 2014 and so we have stayed for 6 years. When we bought it, it was for $340,000 and recently we have actually sold this flat at $500,000. For more details on how we sold a property without an agent, to read my blog. One of the frequent items that I use at least twice a day is this coffee machine. So in 2015, Kate was born and things have changed. No more quiet times and the house is in a lot of mess as you can see. This house tour is unlike other house tours because we had, I never tidy up. So what you see is what it is. This coffee table is the one that we have our breakfast every day. And then uh -huh. you should have noticed by now that this is a low floor. HDB. In fact, this is the lowest floor. We stayed on the second level of this HDB. If you are wondering, is, is it okay to stay on a low floor like this? I can tell you, it is absolutely fine. I've written a blog on this. I think there are some actually nice things about staying on the second level. First, you have a very close up, nice garden views and you can see people walking dogs. Secondly, you, you don't have to wait for the leaf every day. In fact, Kate loves to run up and down the stairs. And I, I approve that because it is actually a good exercise. If you have noticed that we are actually using a projector. I also think that projector, they are actually better for your eyes than TV that is emitting lights directly. Thirdly, I think a, a living room looks nicer when you have a projector because once you put that screen up, it just looks nice. Ah, and that for that Christmas tree there, just last weekend, Kate and I set up this Christmas tree. And we have been reusing this Christmas tree for the last few years. And these soft toys are all put up by you, Kate. Let's take a look now at the bedrooms. We have three bedrooms. So the first bedroom is actually my personal office space. This is where I work on my secret lab chair with my 27 inch iMac, mechanical keyboard, some of my books, a lot of my gadgets. This is my old chair, which Kate sometimes will sit on it and sit beside me to watch iPad. And if you notice, there's also a mahjong table. Next, let's look at the kids' bedroom. There's Kate's bed, Jade's baby cot. And lots of 
toys. This morning, I was just commenting that how little is she playing the toys. For example, this poor petrol fire truck cost $100 and we gave her on her birthday, but she wasn't playing much recently. I was commenting that I should really sell this away. This is the common toilet. Let's take a look at the master bedroom toilets. Toilets first. Because I thought the master room bedroom is pretty good because we have installed a bathtub. A bathtub actually is one of the best things if you have children. Because every almost every weekend we'll put our children in the bathtub and let them play themselves for 30 minutes. This is one place where you can keep them there and they can play themselves. So this bathtub costs like $600 and it has easily ROI. One more strange thing, yeah, is actually this Hello Kitty that's pasted onto the toilet bowl. So imagine me, a man standing here looking at this Hello Kitty, or maybe not, I probably should be looking at the Donald Ducks. But anyway, it's just weird. Let's take a look at the master bedroom. So we have a king size bed and a smaller bed beside us for Kate. So every night, the four of us will sleep in this bedroom with Jade in between us and Kate on the smaller bed. Certainly, Kate has managed to sleep alone in the children's bedroom, but that was only for a handful of nights. Actually, here we can see the Longgang over there. Not really. Now the trees have grown up. They covered the view. Anyway, that's the end of the house tour. I hope this will be useful for you and your children to know about your Laojia. We have actually sold our house recently and we'll be moving into a new house, also in Yishun. Slightly bigger with one more bedroom so that my parents, your grandparents can stay with us. So till then, when we have another house tour. Bye bye.